Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at Codenames Disney Family Edition. Codenames Disney Family Edition is for two to eight or even more players and is published by CGE and USAopoly. If you're familiar with Codenames, then you already have the basics of this game. There are two teams with a clue giver on each team who is giving clues to their teammates to guess certain words in the grid. The first team to get all of their words, or pictures, will win. Let's look inside the box. You have the cards, lots of cards, with pictures on one side and words on the other. The team cover cards are red and blue, and the neutral cards are tan. There are also two different kinds of key cards, a normal 5x5 grid and the easier 4x4 family grid. At the beginning of the game, players choose two clue givers, one for each team, the red team and the blue team. And then you'll set up a grid of cards based on the key card that you've chosen, either the 4x4 or the 5x5. You can play with all pictures face up or all words face up, or if you're feeling really adventurous, you can mix it up and do words and pictures at the same time. The clue givers study the key card to figure out which cards belong to the red team, which belong to the blue team, which are neutral, and which card causes an automatic game over. Only the two clue givers are allowed to look at the key card. The teams take turns with their clue giver saying a one word clue and then a number to designate how many of their cards are associated with that clue. So their red clue giver might say princess three. The other members of the team talk through the options and make guesses by touching cards. They can keep guessing until they reach their number limit for that clue or they decide to pass or they guess incorrectly. Then it's the other team's turn. This version of Codenames is great for anyone who loves Disney. It has everything from Mickey Mouse and Snow White all the way up to Frozen and Moana. I can really see people playing this all the way up from kids to grandparents. The Family Key Card is great for younger kids. It has fewer cards and there isn't a Game Over Assassin card, so they don't have to be afraid of touching a card and automatically losing. The Disney theme really makes this game accessible even to people who don't normally play a lot of games. We have this monthly game night at a coffee shop and we brought Disney Codenames this past time and there was a little girl there who wasn't part of the game group at all and she saw the box, she saw the Disney characters and she ran over and wanted to learn how to play. So I was able to teach her and her family how to play and they had a lot of fun. They learned a great game because of the approachable theme. But there are some cards and pictures that you may not be familiar with if you don't know all the Disney movies. Um, that's okay, because you're just trying to connect the cards together. You don't have to know all the Disney movies. You just need to be really good at finding similar things between those, those cards or pictures and connecting them together. Although, sometimes things are a little too similar, because there might be four princesses or four animals on the grid, and your team only has two of them. So then you have to find really specific clues that will lead your team to those and not the other ones. We've mixed up a few of our games by placing words and pictures all in one grid. That can be fun, but if you don't know who Vanellope von Schweetz is, or Axiom, or Carl Fredrickson, then the game is a little harder. But there are easy words like dance, and bridge, tree, and rabbit. We enjoy the Codenames games, and I think this one is a great addition to the series. Yes. Um, we've actually already bought another copy as a Christmas gift for one of our family members who loves Disney, so I definitely recommend this version to anyone who does love Disney, obviously, and who likes code names.